I'm about to rake these leaves. What? I'm going to be the subject of drawing without looking at the paper first. Today I'm using watercolor paper because I thought I might add some watercolor afterwards and a Sharpie pen because it is waterproof and I'm right next to the road. We just had some traffic noise. So here we go. I'm going to start up here on this part of the paper and just pick a leaf, any leaf. So you won't be able to see which leaf I'm doing, but that's all right. Let's begin. Hmm. There's an interesting one. Going around the edges. All these little dips and things that make them look like maple leaves. And now it's just bumped into another leaf. Uh oh, I lost it. I was looking at the camera to be sure I was in the right place on the paper, and I lost my leaf. That's all right, I'm just picking another one. Every time I move my pen, I'm just guessing. This is all about spatial relationships, and spatial relationships are in the right side of the brain it's where peace, tranquility resides. It's that peace that you feel when you're just doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. But we live in a society where doing nothing is frowned upon. You have all these guilt feelings about doing nothing. So this exercise helps you to access the peace of the right side of the brain without the guilt. Because we're doing something. And we're doing something that can either provide a laugh at the end or provide the beginnings of, a, of an artwork. Many different things can happen from doing this exercise. Including, believe it or not, learning how to draw. Because that is all drawing is, is observation combined with hand-eye coordination plus the right side of the brain. If you're trying to do the, uh, the right side of the brain, excuse me, if you're trying to use the left side of the brain to draw, the left side of the brain deals with the verbal and symbols, a sense of time, um, logical, moving from step to step, all kinds of things that you need in daily life. But we also need that big picture view that the right side gives. Because with the right side, you can take all those facts that you've heard and put them together to create something new. That's what creativity is all about. It's putting things together to make something new. so sunny out here I, I really can't see what I'm um, looking at through the it's my cell phone through the cell phone screen you know how they get when they're in the Sun you can't see a thing and the cell phone is blocking my view of the paper so I can't really see what I'm doing there but I can see there's a blank spot right there I'm going to move the pen up to a blank spot When I go to put the, the watercolor on this, I will put leaves where there are no leaves, and I will choose any color that I want for these leaves. Because that's all part of the creative process, is to choose, to choose what you want to do, to make decisions based on what's right in front of you. Creative choices, not going by what anybody has told you to do, just looking at things and putting them together into something brand new. Alright, let's see, I'll do another leaf here, and then we'll end this video.
and maybe this afternoon I will start another video which will be longer because I'll be painting with doing the, the, um, the paint. So there was a little hesitation there. Usually when I'm doing this, there's no hesitation because I have been drawing while talking for so many years that I can use the left side and the right side of the brain at the same time. It's balanced. I created new brain cells. And that is the beauty of this exercise, is balancing your brain, finding inner peace, helping in all aspects of your life to be able to put together things that you see and hear that may not make a lot of sense, but when you let the right brain process them, then you'll see the bigger picture. Thank you. Join me again.